What's good, YouTube? It's your boy R. I hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing alright. Back with another reaction video. Today we're gonna be reacting to Crazy Axe TikTok compilation. Hey, I love me some toxic woman. Ooh, I love a crazy girl. I love a crazy girl. I'm going to cap. I'm going to cap. One thing is though, I have two rules. Don't break my shit and don't put your hands on me. You break my shit, I'm gonna break your shit back. That's just the rule. Anything you do, I can do better. Anything you do, I can do better than you. You break my, hey, you break my TV, I break, in, I break your TV and your plates. I double in it. Don't play with me. Don't put your hands on me because I ain't gonna put my hands on you. So don't put your hands on me. If you don't buy it, don't break it. No, I don't play that. That part, I don't play. I don't tolerate that bullshit. My speaker? Broken. Why'd you break it? Why did you leave without saying anything to me? Well, See, that's this breaking shit I don't do. So I well, you fucking and... left and didn't say shit to me and you ignored me, so Wait. I break your fucking speaker. And I break... Because I don't want to talk to you to break my things? Stupid. That's crazy. Okay, at least... He's so calm! Xbox or your TV. Who gives a fuck, dude? She don't respect you, bro. I was literally slamming. I I want you to know that I was slamming all that shit so hard on the ground like ten times that it's it's all broken. All of it's broken. Fuck that. I had to call my friends for her. I had to call some of my female friends for her. She gotta get her ass beat. She gotta. She mocking me. I gotta call my sisters. I gotta call them. I said, yo, sis, be the ass, be the ass. Hey, huh? Hey, no. Yeah. Hey, I got some broly. Hey, I got a broly friend. Hey, this girl like fight already. She's fight like a listen. I don't tell her already. Go off a bit. If me and you got a rumble, I just picture you. I've been slamming you. <laughs> I gotta beat you like a man, bro. Listen, this chick ain't easy, bro. I'm like, oh, oh, it's a thing. Listen to me. If you do not <laughs> listen, if you let this gal put her hands on you or punk, she's going to knock you out cold, bro. You have to fight for your life. I tell I tell I said fight you like a use a dude, bro. You know, bro, that's her. Yeah, she's one of those mm, like she's bench pre yo, yo, that's her. I thought I said, bro, I have to fight you like a man. I'm not gonna sit down and let you put your hands on me. It ain't come on man. But but that's my dog though, that's my dog. But huh? I like Hey, friend, be the ass. She breaking my shit. Because. Because I left because you were calling me. Because out. you left and didn't say shit to me, and then you fucking ignore me. Yeah. And act like that's okay. That's an okay thing to do. It's okay to walk out of a toxic situation, definitely. It's not okay to ignore your fucking girl. As this is why you don't date a fucking psychopath. You want to see what I came home to from work? Here you go. TV one, my mirror broken, there's gasoline poured everywhere. I mean fucking everywhere. This is breaking shit, bro. Threw the couches outside, poured gasoline everywhere. Destroyed both fucking TVs. Nah, I need this type of crazy in my life. Yard. Why do you have a Tinder? Just give me the iPad and I can... <laughs> Are you good? Why are you having dinner? <laughs> Alright. Uh, I don't want you. Oh my gosh. Alright, you <laughs> bastard. It's just the perfect way to put it, bastard. Um, blow your head off, dude. You're right. Nobody likes you. Like, you don't have anybody. Like, there I went. The last person that loves you is gone. So, I, I don't know what else to say besides, yeah, blow your fucking head off. Let's take it. That's so fucked up. Like, just say, man can't be victims. And y'all's wonder sometimes. Listen, I don't support any women at all. But you, hey, you put your hands on me. It's go time. I'm a lover, always. I'm a lover. I'm gonna try to put you away, but don't put your hands on me, bro. And why would you tell somebody, okay, y'all don't have, uh, uh, what's the word? 
uh, y'all haven't agreed on something, right? You guys probably don't love each other. We don't like each other. Why would you tell him to kill himself? Why? What, 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 what would that? What now? What if he really had mental problems and be like, hey, I'm gonna fucking blow my mind off. Put some this just stupid B I T C H. Game where we say things that our boyfriends won't let us do. My psychotic ex boyfriend saw me looking at tattoos back when I had one small tattoo on my foot, and he said, you know, one day you're gonna have to choose between me and tattoos. Me being confused because he had almost gotten a tattoo the week before and knew that I wanted tattoos and loved tattoos, I looked at him and went, tattoos. And yes. I left, and that was it. I and blame you, boo. I blame you, Oh, wait. He's getting closer. Go get up that car. Oh, shit. It's red light. Ah. Uh, <laughs> so. <laughs> what a terrible sound to play at the moment. Uh, She smokes cigarettes? Now, I wonder how boyfriend chasing her. She smokes cigarettes. Okay, I swear I'm going to her house tomorrow. I'm sorry you guys have to do this, you guys. You need to get her, bro. I swear to God, that's it. Something traumatic happened that changed my life. Check. Oh, shit. So, fun story time. So, a few days ago, I get a text from my ex. Call me, please. Why? Being the ex girlfriend I am, I say, why? What she tells me, call me, it's urgent. It's about our dads. Our dads work construction together. My dad is his dad's boss. So my mind's like, oh shit, something happened. So I pick up the phone and I call him. And he tells me that my dad ran over his dad on accident. He's fine, he's fine now. He's completely fine, nothing happened to him. But the fact that my dad ran over my ex-father-in-law? You can't make this shit up. Yeah, that shit ain't yeah. funny, yeah. bro. You're fucking stupid ass. Get yeah, out! No. no! Go ahead, I'm calling the cops on you, bro. Here's the story of my crazy ex. My junior year of high school, I was in a really toxic relationship. Um, during that time, I became friends with this guy. I want to say something right here. I, want, I, I observe something. I don't want to say it until the end of the video. Guy named Jack. We'll call him Jack. And he was a nice guy. Like we texted. We had a couple classes together. But it's just friends. Then the end of my junior year, I break up with the toxic guy, and all of my friends are saying you need to date Jack. And honestly, they kind of convinced me. I was hesitant, but like, why not? Give it a try. Like he's a good guy. Whatever. So I'm about to leave for this three-week arts camp in Jack ain't got no pussy, I promise you. Jack is a good guy. He ain't got no, he ain't touch no kitty. She did not, I, I don't know what she wants to say. But the dude, good dude, but listen, let me tell you something, fellas. You gotta be a demon. Good dudes don't get no kitty. He ain't got no kitty. Watch, 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 watch. New York, and right before that, he texts me telling me that he likes me. And I'm like, yeah, I like you too. So three weeks later, I come back and we hang out. And it's so awkward painfully awkward like just not romantic at all bad and so after an hour i drive him home and i make up some excuse and i'm and she drives him home now he definitely ain't got no 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 kitty man feeling horrible i'm like okay we're definitely just better off as friends what i tell you <laughs> what i tell you good guys never get no kitty i promise you you will be a good guy and i can see the feelings right Oh, no, bro. Don't be a simp. Be on demon time, bro. Being a simp does nothing for you but give you headache and make you lose money. Bro, it's the dickheads that if you're looking for love, bro, I'm sorry. You got you better hop on a time machine and go back in 1956 where love actually exists. When, oh my darling, can you please hold my door for me? Fuck, I look like holy a door now, but get the fuck away from me. But anyway, 
We in 2021. These females dance and talk. Wet ass, oh shit. Uh, bro, you really think this female is for you? Hell no. Hell no, bro. You really think, me, bro. You really think you a good guy. You really think being a good guy. Bro, I, I don't understand that. Okay, let me not say I don't understand that. Because I was that type of person. Being a good guy, let me say don't always, like, out of scale from 1 to 10, 2, you might get some kitty from her. But that 8, you don't get no kitty, bro. You're in the friend zone. And this is where things get bad. Watch. Part 2 is already up. He ain't got no kitty. That's all you gotta know. He ain't touch. So I really did not want to lead him on. I wanted to just be friends and I didn't want to hurt his feelings. So that night, I guess I, I wonder did why. And I let him know how I felt. And I told him I wanted to stay friends. Honestly, I figured since we only hung out for an hour one time, it would be fine. But no. The next day, he texts me to tell me that he hooked up with another girl. What? Like, why are you telling me this? So I tell him that that's insensitive and rude. And he apologizes and is crying, telling me that he's oh, yeah, sorry. Hey. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to tell you nothing, so let's start with that. And how is he insensitive? That's a single man. You just said you didn't want him. See the A, fella, it's A, A, A. A, I ain't say nothing. And he was just trying to make me jealous. Then he tells me that he liked the girl, but he likes me more and he would choose me. Things keep going downhill. He is just like spiraling and just keeps insulting me and bad things. How is insulting So you? I decided to cut off the friendship. I'm like, I, I can't deal with this. Yeah, I thought that was the end of it, but no. Fast forward one month. Part three is already up. Yeah, you got a lot of problems in your life. If it's so it's been like a month, a month and a half. You got much stress in your life. Got Chris, and we're still together a year later, just saying. The three of us had a class all together, and I wanted to preserve Jack's feelings, so I texted him to let him know that I was going out with Chris. He responded by calling me a slut. <laughs> what? We hung out one time for about an hour. We didn't hold hands. We didn't kiss. Nothing. <laughs> hey, I remember in high school and that girl kissed that boy. Hey, young man. Love no tarties. She be running around us. Yo, come on, mama. Don't come on us. You want to say she like my life. She a thot. Hey, you remember that too? She a thot. She a thot, she a thot. Hey, actually, bitches loves, you know, what's that? I don't love no thot, <laughs> Hey, listen, all the girl do is run to the basketball game and sit down next to the six next to the dude. She a thot, bro. She, 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 she a nap. <laughs> I like. I don't remember my mem memories, bro. And it's been over a month since that happened. At this point, I'm over it. Hold then hands and five kiss. Five months later. Oh no, that won't hurt. Kiss. Drunk out of his mind, and he texts me, <laughs> accusing me of cheating on him, which obviously I didn't. Right away. It sucks because I had honestly hoped that we would stay friends, but after I broke up with him, he disrespected me over and over I didn't. again. I definitely dodged a bullet, and we haven't talked since. He didn't tell you how he felt. <laughs> that's all. I'm not in love with you anymore. Okay, that's cool. Eh. I don't know about that part. I, I agree. I agree. Nah, that's bullshit. The pain being gone. A shot of vodka to clear it up. You were, how can you? Easy. Cheat on you. Cheat on you, then say sorry. Ain't that hot? Ah, that shit made me laugh. We didn't even hold hands or kiss. <laughs> I remember them days, bro. She sit back to that dude on the bus. Well. I know why she's in it. Beethoven, yeah, do play. Hey, if listen, if you don't know, what, hey, I ain't gonna say nothing. Uh, anyway, 
when she sit on the bus next to you, you better play the Hey, you better, you better play some Beethoven. That's all I can tell you. That's, that's all. I'm, that's all. Big Boy Or is gonna tell you. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe you guys new to the channel, man. Smash that like button, subscribe. Comment down below. Remember, it's 100,000 subscribers. You remember that, Ori? Right, you just got 1,000. I know. I see that. I just tell you to subscribe. Whatever it is, that's awesome. Maybe be happy. Be blessed. And remember, the world's yours. Peace. I'm out.